tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And of course, I am coming on uh, impromptu style. So and I'm still trying to get my life together here. So y'all hold on for a second. <clears throat> she is missing something. I don't have it on this one. Okay, that's cool. It's all good. I can't see what I'm doing. All right, here we go. So if you are coming on the replay, you can fast forward a little bit. I'm going to be doing a little bit of organizing, but I was kind of bored and I was coming on the chat. So where is everybody today? Is everybody out uh is everybody out doing their Black Friday shopping? <laughs> hey Penny Pen, how are you doing today, girlfriend? Did you do your um did you all do your Black Friday shopping already? <laughs> Hey Rachel, good to see you all. Yeah, I've been in the house for like two days, but I've been working hard. As you can kind of tell, my setup has kind of changed. Hello, Esther. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I've been watching Christmas movies. I actually was watching White Christmas, and I watched uh, I watched It's a Wonderful Life, which I'll probably talk about because that's my favorite movie. No shopping for you? No, I didn't do any Black Friday shopping. I, I I can honestly say I do not think I have ever been out on Black Friday. Ever. Ever, ever. Because uh, it sounds like a terrifying experience. <laughs> Even though you probably can get like some really good deals. I think it would be kind of terrifying for me. So, I don't, you know, I'd rather be at home. Plus, I've been doing like some serious, y'all, for real. I know sometimes I say I've been doing some organizing in here, which is really more like uh, pick up and put stuff away. But I have been doing some organizing in here. And so I'm going to do I'm going to show you all a little bit of what what I'm doing kind of has involves this little space right here beside me. You've done it twice in 50 years. Shh. Girl, don't tell nobody that. <laughs> you got to keep that under wraps. <laughs> so, y'all, I, I like my, um, the room that I'm in is actually our family room. So our den, and I kind of took over the den, but I took it over in a really kind of slob kind of way. And I just kind of threw my stuff out here because at one point my daughter had came back to live with me. So I gave her the bedroom that I had for my office, which was a little tiny space. And um, so I ended up moving my stuff out to the family room, which I just took up a little corner at that time. And then I decided that I was going to uh, just, you know, make this my room. You know, it was my house. I could, you know, just do things the way I wanted to do. And even when you have, like, your own house, sometimes you're like, traditionally, I should still have that family room. But I'm like, no, you know what? This is going to be, like, the Liz Studio Cave. And pretty soon I'm going to do a uh, a studio tour. But And I didn't want to wait until, like, the beginning of the year to, like, organize my stuff I wanted it done like right now so I had to go out and I had I did go to Ikea and I purchased like some extra stuff but you'll see all that whenever I do the studio tour but not right now <laughs> so what I did though before I moved anything around y'all look look what I did I did like a, a, a schematic of the room and like these little pieces I put on where repositionable tape that I can move wait I'll show you I'll show you on the desktop. Y'all, yeah, hold on. Let me show you on the desktop because then you can see. So this is what I used right here and to move to change things around. And so this is where I'm at in this little corner right here. So I'm pay attention to this. 
this is where I'm at so like if you're looking at the screen this is my desk here and then this is my chair and y'all I did this to scale too because I'm that kind of girl <laughs> I did it to scale I love using the graph paper and doing things to scale and then like I said I made all these pieces so I could pull them up and move them around and um, what I did was everything that has kind of like the, the orangey outline on here. Hey, Miss Kelly, everything that has like this orangey outline around it, that's things that, um, was going to be taking up floor space basically. And then everything that has like the, that's purple, that's like things that needed electrical. Cause that was a big thing for me moving stuff around was where was I going to plug things in and you can see around my desk I needed the most plugs and stuff so I had to figure out where I had like the the electrical outlets around my room so I, actually I wasn't going to go through all this stuff but you know I just want to come on and chat anyway so <laughs> but I am going to do a little bit just a tidbit of uh, of organization but and then the things that have like the yellow on it, I hope it's focused because you know my focus is crazy, y'all. The things that have like the yellow on it, that's like my was my wish list stuff. So I have a few wish list things on here, and for the most part, I have it. And then I have like a fireplace in here too. So hey, Libby's, I missed you too. So one thing I wanted. I had my de my desk is here and I had my desk was actually turned this way and the fireplace is over here and I wanted to see my fireplace if I ever get to burn anything because y'all know what's hot is you know whatever here and um, so I wanted to turn my desk around so I could see the fireplace whenever I fired the fireplace up so that was one of the main things I I really I took this only took me like a day to do but I took I really took like a few hours and just I was up to like midnight trying to figure out how I want to do this so I measured the room and then I made all my little pieces of furniture well they're like squares but I know what they are <laughs> they're like squares and then that way I knew so this room it looks like this piece of paper drawn to scale it looks like a seriously big room but I guess it's bigger than most people's spaces so I you know I can't say it's not a big room and so but I just kind of keep most of my stuff here so I actually I changed what I did on here because I also like before um, I would say some years ago when I first kind of designed my space so to speak or decorated my space I did, I did it because I had like a I used to like entertain a lot of people like a lot of my family members would come over and um, you know and friends and stuff and I don't really do that anymore so I had like a lot of seating in here uh, I had um, I had seating in the kitchen and I had seating in the living room that has seating in the den I just had an overabundance of seating so I have like some really big chairs in here so I wanted to keep the chairs, but they take up a lot of space. So these are the chairs right here. So I ended up, I actually, I figured something else out here. So that stayed. And let's see. And then my cubes go like this. And... See how I was able to move things around? So I got my cubes here. And then the table is actually, this actually is, I had, I'm just gonna move this to the side cause I don't need that one now. And this was one that I had already and then I have a table is over here. And I have one more chair in here. So I don't have a block for my chair, but that's okay. I will, um, y'all let me turn this focus off. I'm sorry. Oh, this focus drives me a nuts. Let me find it on here. Stop focusing. 
I can find it. Where are you, Mr. Focus? Stop auto-focusing. Okay, we should be good now. All right. <clears throat> so I didn't even ask you all, how y'all doing today? How was your Thanksgiving? Did y'all eat too much food? Did y'all even cook? Because I didn't cook anything. My mom cooked a little bit, and then I went and picked some food up from her house, but that was it. We didn't do any family or nothing. So what did, what did you guys do, or what did you ladies do for Thanksgiving? All right, I'm just going to continue on while uh, y'all catch up with that. But anyway, all right, so this is kind of what it looks like now. Because I did go out and I bought a cube. And then I also bought another shelf that goes right here too. So I have to put that on there. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all. Because I was kind of proud of myself. <laughs> I was proud of myself for doing my little uh, architectural schematic. And it worked out really well. Because I'm the type of person. I'll just move things around until I like it. And I said, why don't I move things around on paper first. And then... uh Take it from there because, you know, it's kind of ridiculous moving big pieces of furniture around. So Livy says her husband cooked and she delivered meals. Oh, that's cool. I delivered meals too from my mom's house. Oh, your little one was sick. I hope he feels better. Hope he's feeling better so he can eat some of that good food. So what I'm going to be doing is, okay, if you look over here, let me, let me change. <clears throat> change up my screen here let's see where are you yeah I have a lot of stuff up on my screen <coughs> I lost uh here we go okay so if you see right over here on this side I have like these little cubbies so I'll tell you about it. I know my camera is kind of in the way but you know that's just that's the camera life right now so the y'all this over here was is a shoe organizer and I got it at a garage sale for two dollars somebody had it at a garage sale and I asked this lady I was like how much you want for that she does garage sales every week <laughs> and I was like how much you want for that and she was like I thought she was gonna say like ten dollars or something like that she said oh, just give me two dollars for it and I was like okay and then she wanted to put it in my car. She's like, let me put it in your car. I was like, girl, I can do it. Okay, for $2, thank you. And I bought a few other things from her that day. So it's a shoe organizer. So you can see. And also, well, you can see my facade here. I have a facade going here. So if you pull out one of the boxes, these boxes are from my laser jet printer. And, uh... So I've been I've been saving these boxes because I was like I know I can do something with those boxes because y'all I'm a box hoarder for sure I'm a box hoarder and uh, so I've been saving these boxes so every time I get them there's my printer up here and every time I um I have to change my cartridges which is quite often I go ahead and I keep. Well, this is a few years worth of boxes. So every time I got a box, I would just keep it and I just cut the top off the box. And what I did was, is I put some contact paper on the front. And I didn't put it all over the box because you're not going to see the whole thing. <laughs> well, when I say you, I mean me. Well, y'all see it too because this is my setup now. So all you see is the front of the box and then what I did on my um, brother scan and cut is I cut like a scallop shape and then I used my Posca pens and I did like made me some labels some handwritten labels which I love a lot and so what I'm gonna be working on is some of these little thingies in the inside so some of these are empty some have like some rubber bands in them and um, I have some bags. I have the punches that I use the most in here. And then I have what I'm going to be storing a lot of is some of my ephemera, the small pieces of ephemera. Even though I have my book, which is up here, that's my ephemera book up here. Um, I wanted to find an easier way to find stuff because that book is out of control big. And so I decided I was watching some 
organization videos last night. Well, I've been watching them for a few days. And I saw this lady and she kind of stored things a little bit similar to this. But I haven't really seen anybody do this before. So let me um, bring you back down here. And y'all hold on for a second here. Alright. So this is what the box looks like from the top. And I just put these clips on back here just to keep things from falling over. But I could have just stuck something in here. But, you know. So this is the top of the box. And also what I did, because I didn't want to look at the stuff, like, in front of me all the time. I just, I laminated, like, a piece of black cardstock and put it in the front so I wouldn't have to look at it. And then I made, like, these little bitty pouches. So I made these pouches and this one's a little busting at the seams, but that's okay. And then I took my typewriter and I did the words. And I'll tell you why I used my typewriter and not the computer in a bit. Um, I have a, a We Are Memory Keepers typewriter and I never use it or whatever they call it. <laughs> and so this was like a good exercise to use that too. So and then I had the materials that I used are some cello bags so I use these to pack things up when I'm sending them out and I have like a bunch of them and I was like oh, I wonder can I make some little pouches but the problem that I had was that these won't fit in here this way they're too they're too wide so then I had to think okay how can I make this bag fit for what I need and then they're also too tall so I'm gonna show you how I did that I know it took me all this time to get to this because this is not a tutorial I just want to come on and chit chat because <laughs> I haven't been on for a while and I missed y'all okay let me just put this back over here for a minute because I don't need that so the first thing I had to do was I had some yellow cardstock and y'all have had this cardstock since the for real beginning of time. Like the beginning, beginning of time. Uh, before I even crafted, I had this cardstock. I must have had a case of this stuff. And it was yellow. And so whenever I'm doing stuff like this organization where you won't be able to see it, I always use this cardstock. So if you do what I'm doing, you could actually use any kind of cardstock because you won't see it anyway. So I cut this down and I cut them into, I measured my box, like how wide it was and uh, how tall this could be where everything, where when I slide the box in, it will still slide in without catching stuff. And so, um, that's the size of this and the size that this was, I think it was five inches high and then like three and a quarter inches across. Okay. So then the next thing I needed was to make these bags a size that could fit. So these bags are four by six bags, but this is y'all. I, I had to be creative because I didn't want to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff because that's how I y'all know how I am. So I have dun, 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 dun. Y'all this is my uh like my food saver. Hey Sally, how are you doing? This is my food saver. I actually have a few of these. I got this at a thrift store for five dollars. <laughs> Y'all know that every time I see these, I pick them up. So I have a few of them. So I use, I use one for actual food and then, but you can use them across the board. If you have one, you could do this. I use my food. I use it in the craft room. I use it to pack clothes up that I'm shipping out, all kinds of stuff. It's, this is a ridiculous animal. So I already have this plugged in. So what I'm going to do is, because I want this to be, uh, I still want the side to be um, sealed up, but I'm going to need to cut this so that it will fit into my box. So I already know where I need to put this in at, 
to make it the size that I want it to be. And I hope you all get some ideas. I know you won't be able to do exactly what I did, but maybe this will give you some ideas. So, the nice thing about this is it's real quiet because I have it on seal right now and I just wait. Just wait for a few moments for it to, uh, the red light to go off and then it's sealed up. See how quiet that is? All right, so. And then this is how it comes out. So the side is sealed up there. And then so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my yellow pieces here. And I'm just going to stick it in here. And it, it actually fits perfectly because y'all, I figure all this stuff out. Yeah, girl, I don't always find bargains like that, but that was like, uh, I've, been, I've been finding, well, I can't say I've been finding good stuff because I haven't been out lately, but you know, if you go out enough, you'll find stuff. So that's how the bag looks, but it's st still not finished. So the next thing I did before I do any cutting, and I'll tell you why, is let me get my typewriter, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get the typewriter. It's actually all the way across the room. Okay. All right. So the reason why I'm using the typewriter instead of instead of doing it on the computer, which you could do it on the computer if you don't have a typewriter, is because I only want to do like a few labels at a time and then cut them. And if I did that, like I would use a lot of paper, if you understand what I'm saying. I would use a lot of paper on the printer to do that. In order to do it on the printer and only use one piece of paper, I would have to like actually just wait and do everything at the same time. So I decided to do it on the typewriter because I can pull the paper out. I can put the scrap paper back into the typewriter and I can type it that way. So let me get some paper or a piece of paper. All right, and I have to say this typewriter is not the best typewriter either, but you know, whatever. I don't know if all their typewriters are like this one, but to me, I don't know. I, if, I feel like something is wrong with it, and I wish I had a, a, taken it back when I first got it, but I think I had it too long before I used it, and, and then before I figured out that it didn't really work the way I wanted it to. But in any case, so, and then the next thing I need to know is what I'm going to put in this bag, into the bags. So I have these um, mason jar die cuts, and this is a digital kit that is in the shop as well. And instead of storing them in here, I want to store them in the bags there. So I'm going to put... Uh, and also, you know, when you're watching all the craft, all the, um, the craft room tours and stuff like that, and you want to like duplicate some things, you have to do things that make sense to you. So when you're labeling things, you should label them so that it makes sense to you as to how to find it. So in this case, it's just going to be, um. Mason jar. My end is kind of funky on here. Mason jar. And then I put DK for a digital kit. All right. And then while I got the typewriter, I have some of these already. Have y'all been doing any organization stuff? Okay, I call it these dangle words. I'm going to do another dangle words. And we made some of these together. And I got a bunch of them. I got some different colored ones too. Those are going to go in a different pack. So I'm going to call those dangled numbers. So let's see. 
Oops. See how I messed up. I'm gonna do my mason jars again. Yeah, I could type really fast, but I can't type fast on a manual typewriter because I'm trying I'm trying not to break my fingernails, okay? That is not a good look. Uh-oh. Get back on here, thing. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. The good thing about this setup, too, is now I don't have the mic. is not sitting right on my desk, so it shouldn't be a lot of noise. It might still be a little bit close to the desk, so I should have moved it out a bit, but too late maybe next time <laughs> all right and then this is i tried to test everything thank words when i did the setup y'all it took me like about five hours to get all my electrical stuff back together then I had to get the mic set back up. Then I had to set up the cameras. I had to make sure the lights were where they're supposed to be. It was it was a total fiasco, but I decided to take one for the team just for y'all. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What else do I have up here? Um, these are from the Halloween Digital Kit. And so I want to put those in there too. And all right, let's see. I have, let's see what else I have. Your first job, you had one of those typewriters. And you never have fingernails, girl. I'm being careful as I can. Because <laughs> they will take your nails off. Okay, that I don't need. Um, and then I made these. And they're kind of like stamps. I actually have. Let's see, I have one of these that has stamps. Stamps. Let's see. I have stamps, faux cut stamps. So let us stick these in here. This is not really a stamp, but I'm going to stick it in here anyway. One of the big things I had when I was trying to organize stuff, y'all have like so many itsy bitsy little pieces of stuff everywhere. I still have a lot of things to go through, but I'm pretty much know where I'm going to put everything. But, you know, I took a lot of stuff out and it is crazy in here. All right, let's see what else I have in here. Oh, I got these butterflies. At one time I was selling these. I don't think I have these up for sale anymore. I don't know. I have a bunch of butterflies. Um, and I have these. Uh, we can make something for that one. And we got tickets. And then I have, I have like these. Y'all, these are so cool. I have these yellow cab uh, coupon books, which is cool. So I'm gonna make one for this one. Let's say this is. Um, trying to figure out how what I want to name it. Yo Cab Tickets. That's what we'll name that one. Okay, and then.
Yeah, I'm probably hitting the keys too hard, too. I don't need to hit them as hard, except for the end. The end doesn't want to work right. Okay, so we got that. And what else I have in here? I got these ladies. This is a digital kit, but I think this is a reward that's over on the Patreon page with these little Victorian heads. So that's why I'm gonna name it Victorian heads because that makes sense to me. <laughs> Let's name her Victorian heads. All right, my in. Why my in don't wanna work right? I just feel like the letters are not straight on here. I think they should be straighter than they are. This looks like a janky typewriter, but I guess, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. If anybody have one, y'all have to let me know. All right, so let's just do these for now. Cause see, I can still use this paper because I'm using a typewriter. I can just put the paper back in even after it's cut. So that's why I'm using a typewriter. So let me, oh, I'm just gonna put this over here out the way. Hold up. actually have to get up because I don't have a space next to me and my desk is full of stuff right now all right so I'm just gonna cut this hey Jan how you doing Jan I hope everything's going good y'all whenever it's Black Friday I I'm always trying to think of like what do I need to buy like that I could take advantage of Black Friday and I could never figure anything out. <laughs> I could never figure anything out, so I probably missed some good deals. I should have looked to see if like my ink is on sale though, for real. That ink is not a game. It ain't a game, y'all. Let's do this. So I'm just cutting these out. And uh I also thought about cutting these on sticker paper, but <sighs> y'all that sticker paper, once you stick that stuff down, it's a wrap. It is not coming up. So I decided to just use some tape for this job. And I'm okay with that. This is kind of like a fussy kind of, uh, fussy kind of relaxing kind of organizational type of activity that's how I look at it it's nice and quiet I told y'all just got done watching I was gonna come on a little bit earlier but then I started watching it's a wonderful life and it was a wrap <laughs> I couldn't come on after that because I had to I mean I couldn't come on because I wanted to finish watching it and I have seen that movie like a gazillion times and I only watch it during this time of year even though I own a copy of it because my children know that I love that movie so much. They bought it for me a long time ago. So I have the DVD and but I still only just watch it this time of year. I don't know why. I could watch it all year long if I wanted to. And... There's like parts of it that make me so sometimes I'm like smiling like through a lot of the movie and then there's parts that make me cry and no matter how many times I see it, I'm like, I just love this movie, especially the end of it. So if you've never seen It's a Wonderful Life, it's in black and white, but it is so well made because sometimes it's not all about like this, the plot of the movie. Sometimes it's like the way the movie is made, but it has a good plot too. I love like the way that it's made and you know the way they do their lines and I, I just love it it's one of my favorites what's your favorite Christmas movie that's my favorite Christmas movie all right so now we have some beautiful words let me see let's see if this is gonna focus right so y'all can see the words are you gonna focus oh I took the focus off 
hold on let's see if i can put the focus back on so y'all can see i have to figure it out all right here we go focus all right so that's what they look like so you can see how my letters are they look kind of funky i mean they look kind of cool vintagey but at the same time i'm just like uh is this supposed to look like that i like it but i was thinking it was going to be a lot straighter and stuff but i guess that's how it's supposed to look like that okay so i have my words now let's move some of this stuff out the way all right so with this pack now i'm going to tell you why i didn't cut this the way that i wanted to be just yet and I'm using like some invisible tape. So let's see. Let's put these heads, the Victorian heads here. All right, so we got the Victorian heads. Y'all, since these pieces are so small, they're hard to, they're just kind of hard to kind of pick up or whatever. So I just use my tape and like the static electricity basically will pick it up and then it never goes on the tape straight okay so i got it on my tape and then i just line it up with the top of the yellow piece and i put it on here and sometimes when i was doing this it's a little bit messed up but i kind of messed this up let's see if i can fix this Ugh, forget it whatever uh <laughs> it's not that serious so what would happen is the tape would be like over the top or whatever so i wait to cut it so if i have to cut the tape off the top then i'll be able to cut it so i hope that makes sense i'm talking in liz language now so now i'm gonna cut this all the way to where the yellow is and then this piece right here that's kind of like an overhang i don't know if y'all can see that that's hard to see that piece i'm cut that off but i'm not cutting into the pocket so just like if you were doing lamination i'm not cutting into the pocket and now dun, 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 i have a pocket with a label on it and i'm just gonna stick my little heads in here and voila that is ready to go in here and i got these in here in alphabetical order and because i labeled them so that it makes sense to me uh, I'll be, i should be able to find things especially with the digital kits because i know i um use the same name for them all the time so this is the Victorian heads go here. I think I need to move this a little bit. And I have enough space in my QBs where I could use like more, more than one drawer too. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in kind of like assembly line mode. So if y'all wanna chit chat, I'm here. So I have a few of these that I'm going to do. So let's get. Oh, our uh my five dollar jammy here that, they probably would have gave it to me for even less than that because i love that place because the lady there i'm like how much for this and she looks at me and she'd be like oh 10 cents 10 cents for this 50 cents for that but i haven't been there since the pandemic so i don't know if they they've reopened or not so like I said, all I've been doing is, I know a lot of people have been organizing their space since the pandemic started, but I haven't really. I haven't. I just started. <laughs> I just started and I just finished. I did it like within two days. Y'all going to be surprised when you see the whippersnapper. I decorated the whippersnapper too. <laughs> the whippersnapper has been decorated. So I'm going to do a few of these at a time and then I still have like some larger pieces of 
uh, ephemera behind me too. But uh, it's going to stay that way for now. Because, you know, you can't do, you have to do things in baby steps. You can't do things all together at one time. And you can use like an old packaging to do this too. So you can save up your old packaging. If you have like a, you know, a sealer like this. Works fantastic. So I could sit here and I can uh, chit chat with you all or, you know, watch more Christmas movies because the next Christmas movie, hey bevies, so the next Christmas movie well, that I'm working on is, uh, I turned it off so I could come and talk to y'all, was White Christmas. So I'm watching White Christmas and... Of course, I've watched the Netflix Christmas movies. Have y'all been watching Christmas movies yet? And I was going to listen to some Christmas music today, but I opted for the Christmas movies instead of the music. Too bad we can't listen to Christmas music together. Unfortunately... I can't really say YouTube sucks about that because, you know, it's copyrighted stuff. So, it belongs to people. So, I get it. I understand. Alright, and let's do the next one. I was like, I felt like I was a genius when I came up with this. <laughs> Y'all have like some creative ways to to um, organize because, you know, sometimes we don't be having the dough to go out and buy all that, that beautiful furniture and stuff and organizational solutions. I will say I have gotten quite a few containers lately too, but I purchased them from like Dollar General, which... It probably would be cheaper to buy them from Walmart, but I'm not going near Walmart right now. So I'm going to pay the convenience fee of paying a little more at Dollar General for my containers instead of going to Walmart. And Walmart might not, might not even have what I need. I feel like that's the trick to me organizing stuff is just getting a lot of um, a lot of containers I am I'm sealing the bag so you can see here what I'm doing is well I will show you again let me just do this last bag this one y'all this is um, some packaging from something I don't know what it's from so this one I'm going to have to do a little bit differently because, and then baby, I'll show you, I'll show you, I said it at the beginning, but I'll show you again because I know some people just came on what I'm doing, uh, maybe about right here, hopefully we're going to see, we're going to see how this packaging works. I know the cello bags work real good. And if you, uh, I guess after I get off of here, I'll put a link to the bags that I use because you can get them. They are very inexpensive and actually you can get them at Walmart and places like that and the craft stores too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is what we're doing. So I'll just show you all again. I will show you again. <laughs> I'm way more patient than you are, Sally. I I have been, and see, that's my problem. I've been throwing my ephemera in into just baskets and stuff. But y'all, the problem with that is I have like all these boxes of paper, like where I just take everything off my desk and I put it in a box and I just throw it on the floor. So now I have like all these boxes of junk all around me and I'm in super slob mode. 
So I'm trying to get out of that. And I don't know like how much stuff I have of everything. So I'm trying to just rein it in. Okay, so this is what we're doing today for those of you who came on a little bit later. So over here on this side, you see these boxes right here. This, it, these are, let's see, I'm going to move this out the way and I'll move it back so you all can see. And let me also, okay, now y'all can see. All right, because I had a lot of stuff on the screen. Turn that off too. Okay, so over here on the side here are some cubbies. And it's like, this, this is a shoe organizer um, that this is in. Not the boxes, but this is a shoe organizer. So I got it at a garage sale for $2. And um, the first time I saw, um, I saw somebody using something like this. I don't think it was a shoe organizer. And they were putting like their paints in it. And I was like, oh, that's a good way for me to um put my paints in it so you'll see like they had paints like this in there but i'm pretty sure it wasn't a shoe organizer they had theirs was kind of like legit a legit organiz organizational system <laughs> and then i've been saving my cartridges from my printer so this is a printer cartridge box you can see <clears throat> because I only covered like the front of it because this is all I can see when I put the boxes in. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm putting some of my ephemera in here in an organized way so you can see. I know it's hard with the lights, but and they have labels on them in the front. And then because I didn't want to see everything that's behind these, like there's some boxes behind that and the rubber bands, you can see all the rubber bands and stuff. And some of these kind of stick out too. Hey, Nettie. So I, I uh, laminated some black cardstock, which I need some more black cardstock. Y'all had like a pack of black cardstock that I've been hoarding like nobody's business. Don't ask me why. And now I'm using it and I need some more. <laughs> hey, Tina. So, I put those in front. So, I put the little black pieces in front. So, now all you see when you look at this is the labels that are on the box. And you can only see where I put the... Um, this is um, contact paper from the dollar store. I got a whole roll and I was able to do this whole thing plus more boxes with the um with the contact paper and so I'm making like these little containers for my my ephemera Ooh. and then I put like labels on them so this was some fussy cut uh book images oh Nettie you're organizing too so I got butterflies isn't that cool? Now this is kind of packed. So I'll just make another one that has butter. What I'm going to do is break these butterflies down at some point. Maybe do like rustic butterflies. Maybe like pink butterflies. Whatever. So you can see some of them. Like this one. These are my rustic butterflies here. And I got like circles. And, we got, and then I did the flowers in different colors. So now I could just grab the flowers. So if that makes sense. So now I got to put all these back now. <laughs> I even put like my Tim Holtz paper dolls in here. We got page flags. I got photo ephemera, which is a digital kit in the shop. And I did like some just all kinds of stuff. I even did one for like I did some stamps and I fussy cut them. So I did one for that. So that's basically what I'm doing. So I wanted to, I needed to make some uh, pockets that will fit into these boxes, basically. 
and I didn't have anything that would fit because they're kind of it's like narrow I don't look at my eBay tape it's like narrow this way and so I have some four by six bags which are this is what the bag looked like before I cut it and I use these to pack things up so I had lots of these and I buy them by the hundreds and so I just use those and so I had to make them smaller so to make them smaller I just use my food saver to uh, make the bag smaller and then I'll just cut it Ooh, we getting ready to get you a pegboard and some shells right on girlfriend right on all right so now let me put the got to put all these back see i took them out but it's easy for me to put them back because now we have a uh, oh y'all gotta move this back <laughs> i moved the camera i forgot so let's it's easy for me to put these back because i'm putting them in alphabetical order and i'm putting them in alphabetical order i labeled them so it made sense to me This one doesn't make sense though. I think I made this before I made like the different colors and stuff. So that's okay. Butterfly, Let's see, book, flowers, blue, circles, circles. You got me going in circles. I'm doing good, Nettie. I've just been busy, y'all. That's why I haven't been on. I've been super busy. And I wanted to come on yesterday for Thanksgiving, but I was uh, moving furniture yesterday. <laughs> all right, so let's put that back. Okay, so now we have all of these. So, so you can go into, into assembly line mode very quickly. Let's see if this will work. This was the packaging one. Let's see, is it? Yeah. I think it's gonna work. Cause I'm gonna cut all the, the, the ex excess stuff off of here, so. And I actually had to order some more bags too. I had to make sure I had enough for any uh, orders that were going out for the weekend because people are uh, shopping right now. So if y'all need any uh, junk journals or junk journal supply, you can head over to uh, pleasantcreations.com and you can use the discount YouTube fan for a discount. That's my shameless plug. All right, so Nettie, I am watching Christmas movies and organizing. That's like the story of my life right now. Okay, so now let's get some of these words that I already typed up. And let's see if I can get this on here halfway decent. Okay, that's book page butterflies. Then we have Halloween book page digital kit. And of course, when I run out of this yellow, I think I have some other cardstock. I don't want to use my white cardstock, but I have I have some cardstock that I've had like for so long. I just want to use that. Y'all know something else that I order. Sometimes having the right tools will keep you in, it will keep you sane for sure. And I use a lot of, um, I use a lot of invisible tape, but it's kind of a pain because you know, you have to pick it up. Then you have to put it down and you do your thing and you pick it up. So finally I ordered a tape dispenser. So I feel like that's going to make my life so much easier because I use a lot of tape. So Sally says she is decluttering. That is a full-time job. 
That is a full-time job. Because I'm doing, I'm decluttering, moving furniture around, and just trying to get, get the studio in the right, in a good spot. Got to cut this. And like I said, now I can see like all the, oops, now this is a problem. See how I did that, how that came on my tape like that. <laughs> but I can't take it off because it, um, I'll have to use a new piece of tape. So this is like a very good example of why I don't cut this first. Because now I'll just adjust this. And put it on straight like that so I won't have to retape it. And then when I cut it, I'll just cut that extra tape off. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Decluttering is what you do when you make junk journals. <laughs> Y'all have so many unfinished projects too. I found I'll have like a whole shelf of unfinished projects. So I really don't need to start anything new. I need to uh, finish some projects. All right, so let's dump that. All right, so now we have some empties, but that's okay. So now what I'll do next is I'm gonna cut the top all the way to the yellow part because I know that's what fits into my cubby. And then I'm just going to cut off this extra piece that I don't need. That's past, of course, it's past the part where I sealed it. So, and it made a nice pocket. -da -da. And this is for the yellow cab tickets. What did I do with those? Here. Let's put our yellow cab tickets in. I hope they fit. Yeah, they fit. The yellow cap tickets in. Dun, 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 dun. And then we have next is a Z Mason jars, which is from the Mason Jar Digital Kit. Y'all, I'm so happy because I I think I have things where they make sense now. You know, because I feel like in uh my studio whenever I say I can't find something is because for one thing it's not in a place that makes sense and I tried to put not so much like like items together but I put things together the way that I use them so and since I wanted a lot of things close to me like I have all my pens here I have now, I put the paints over here because um, they've been there for a while and I just know where they are. And I don't have to, it's easy for me to get into the paints, but I can see myself throwing out the paints because I need to buy some more. Some of my paints are getting kind of dried up. But I put like all of my mixed media stuff together. So when I'm doing mixed media, I have that. I want to, I have ephemera all over the place. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to put the ephemera all together. So that's the mason jar one. Y'all, these little bags. These are so cool. <coughs> you call that shifting things around. <laughs> All right, and then. Hey, I had two. Oh, you know why? I know why I had two. Because one of these I wasn't going to use. So let me see if I can take this off. Y'all, I have... This little gadget that I have here, I talked about it before. It's called a Scotty Peeler. Y'all, this is like the best thing since sliced bread when you're trying to pick stuff up. Or get tags off of stuff. Oh my goodness. It's so helpful. Alright, I don't need that one. All right, so this one is this. So as you can see, this uh, is going to take me like 10 trillion years, but that's okay. That's 
that's okay. I was going to get like these little iris cases and just put all my ephemera in those. But it just takes up a lot of space because some things I don't need this much space for. I really don't. So I'll use my iris cases for some other stuff. Does that happen to y'all like when you like organizing your spaces like you free up a, a container and you use that container for something else and then you're like, oh, I can use this little container for these small things. And then you dump that out and then like your your uh, containers shift around. That's how it is for me. So these iris cases, they're going to shift. They don't belong in here. We made these together, y'all remember? I love these. And I'm going to put these in a different. They have sewing on them. I love the sewing. All right, all these go over here. Yeah, I could be on here like for 50 million years doing this. Oh, I forgot to cut this. Oh, you're tempted to uh, fill your uh, roof with hooks. Well, I have vaulted ceilings, so that wouldn't work for me. <laughs> and also, I don't have like a lot of wall space either, so I don't have anything hanging off the walls. So everything I have have to go like into, I probably have like one little piece of wall that I could use. But y'all, uh, I'd rather use cubbies and stuff. All right, so those we have to make containers. Okay, let's see what we have here. Next is the Halloween book pages. Oh, what am I going to use the plastic case? I don't know. Right now they're empty. And I actually added like some, um, some more drawers too. And a lot of them are empty. So that's room to grow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use them for. If I have like some big pieces of ephemera that, happy Halloween, that I can't fit in there, maybe I might use um, some of the, I don't know. These have been shifted around so many times to use for different things. It's ridiculous. I haven't bought any. I had, I bought one of the iris containers that had I guess it wasn't iris containers, like a photo um, container. I've put, I've actually stored like wooden, um, what you call it, uh, wooden stamps. I put wooden stamps in here, but now I kind of store them a little bit differently. And of course, ephemera in here. I have like jewelry making stuff in here. Let me see, do I have? I don't know. I just use it like for different things. Like this had some jewelry making stuff in here from when I do like the book charms. Some tools. Uh, I could put game, put game pieces in here also. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm just stashing them in here for now. some empty ones kind of all right put these in here get in here people get in here y'all I didn't do any Halloween layouts and y'all know what? I don't have a Christmas junk journal. I'm thinking of either using one of the Christmas junk journals I have in the shop or making me one. I don't know. I'm debating. I'm debating on what I want to do. All right, so this is book page butterflies. So this is kind of like a never ending job. 
So I'll just do it until I get tired of doing it, and then I'll do something else. But I've been kind of quite enjoying this, but I probably could spend like a few hours just um, just doing this. And I have another cello bag that I can use. Although I have tons of those. Oh, yeah, you can put your beads and your gems in there, too. I have, like, this stacking thing that I have my beads in. I don't really like those stacking containers, though. Because I like containers you can stack, but not the ones that are already stacked together. And they don't have, each piece doesn't have tops to it. I don't like those. I bought one of those, and I took it back to the store. I was like, this is not going to fit my needs because it's not... It's not as modular, so you can't, like, move things around, so I don't like that. All right, so look at that, y'all. You could even, you could do this and store beads in it, too, even though it's open, but you can make it so it's not if you wanted to. But since it's going to be sitting up like this, you don't have to worry about beads falling out. So you could put, if you don't have a million beads. And one thing that I was worried about with using these cello bags, because it's plastic, it looks thin, but it's not that thin. I was worried that maybe like the edges would rip or it wouldn't be strong enough, but actually they're working out really well. All right, so let's pull this back out. And once I get enough of these, then maybe I will like put flowers in one box. You know, I will split, I will break it down even more to be able to find stuff easier, but right now, I think this is going to be good enough. Okay. It says Halloween. And for like the Christmas ephemera, I probably would even do a box just for Christmas ephemera. I don't know. I might not do a box for Christmas ephemera. I don't know. I might, because I have a lot of Christmas ephemera, too. Alright, let's put that back over there. So, we still have more, because I have a lot of butterflies still. So, I want to make... Okay, so now I need typewriter again. So, now I can use the same piece of paper because I'm using a typewriter. All right, let's get the typewriter. Oh! Oh, stuck to my chair. My skin stuck to my chair. Thing. You need a better um, paper storage. Just you know, one I can say one good thing is that I do not have a lot of uh, cardstock paper. I have like I think two of my cubbies and my calyx, uh, my calyx cubby systems have papers in them, and that's it. I don't have any more um, paper. So, and I have actually did not buy any cardstock paper this year. I have, still have tons of Christmas paper and other paper, so I'm just going to try to go through those. Alright, so now... I can just... Use the same paper. Again, all right, so let's all go in. Butterflies. It's more than just butterflies in this, though. I think. So 
some florals in here too. I probably need to separate these. These are like heavyweight. Um, they're more like chipboard. It's not lucky, Nettie. I I had to save my money for my little typewriter. <laughs> And it's a We Are Memory Keeper, so it's not a vintage typewriter at all. So that's one thing. So it wasn't it wasn't by luck that I got this. But I did buy it at Tuesday mornings and it was at a reduced price. But uh, I'm not convinced that this was a good, good buy. But I got it, so I'm going to use it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... Uh oh, we're stuck. Y'all, y'all should see how this one came out. Like the words look, they're like this. <laughs> it is not supposed to do that. All right, Sally, thanks for coming on. I know it's late for you, girl. I wanted to come on earlier, but I was watching movies. I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all make sure y'all give this video a uh, thumbs up. Well, you don't have to make sure. If you enjoy, if you're enjoying the conversation, give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Okay. Oh my gosh, y'all should see how this looks. I know it ain't supposed to do this. I'm going to show you when I get done. <laughs> I'm going to show you because something weird is going on here. Let's see what else do I have here. I have more paper dolls. Let's do a second one that has paper dolls. I hope I'm spelling everything right too because y'all know I'm a notoriously uh, bad speller. But uh, it's just for me anyway, so. Oh, no, that's not spelled wrong for sure. I mean, that's spelled wrong for sure. What the heck did I do? Page. So, All right, let's see what else I have in here. My tarts, I got that. Okay. Let's cut these. I have a label maker too, but I, don't, I never use it though. I actually just bought new batteries for it. <laughs> I have a brother label maker. I like it, but the reason why I don't use it is because I'm, ch I'm cheap and I don't want to buy the labels. But I will tell you... 
a secret if you're in the states of course um a lot of places price match with Amazon and I went to Staples one time to get uh, labels for my label maker and the prices were high and I looked on Amazon and I asked them if they price matched and they said yes and I got like I paid like ten dollars less for the labels so always like if you go someplace I've done it like at Best Buy before too but you can do it at almost every store they'll price match so you can save you save your duckies I have to concentrate so I don't cut my fingers off oh I want to show y'all how this thing is typing because I know y'all might think I'm wacky let me see if I can bring it up Let's see if it'll come on thing focus mm. there it is look how it says butterflies chipboard see how it curved up I know this thing is not supposed to be doing that and look at the flowers chipboard y'all see how that is it's like wavy I know it ain't supposed to do that that is crazy But I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm not really worried about wasting uh, white copy paper. But you know. Because that's all this is. Still. It's the principle behind it. Typewriters are not supposed to do that. They're wacky. But they're not that wacky. Yeah, but you could definitely use the label makers. I even had like the little round label maker where you have to turn the thing and then, you, you know, you, you hit like the little trigger. I've had those before too. But it's a pain using those because if you make a mistake, you just wasted some labels. And you have to start all over again. So here we go. I would like to uh, finish what I have on my desk, but as y'all can see, this is kind of like a slow process. I mean, I could stop at any time and I still probably would be able to find what I'm looking for, but okay, I'm, I'm going deep on my organization right now. I'm going deep. Y'all, I put box page hexagons and I spell hexagon H-X-A-G-O-N-S. I don't know what that was supposed to be, so I had to go. <laughs> it was supposed to be book page hexagons. All right. So that one I did not use. I'm sweating. I think it's the lights. I got a lot of lights on. I think my lighting is better too. So I'm starting to figure, after all these years, starting to figure out my lighting. I'm using some different software too. Ooh. Ooh. She's sweating. All right. I got like three of these. Then I'll have to make some more. I have to make sure I'm on Cami Cam too. <laughs> Change your mind and start over again. Me too. That's happened with my stamps a lot. <laughs> I've changed the way that I do stamps about 50 million times. But I think, I think I'm onto something now with my stamp storage. I think I'm gonna have to do a series of videos cause I don't know. I can do like an overall, um, 
an overall kind of craft room organization. But if y'all want me to go deep, I'm going to have to do a series. Because I got some really good ideas to do your organization on the cheap. But you probably have to be like a box hoarder like me. Like I hoarded these laser jet thingies. See? Oh, it's crooked. But that's okay. It won't be crooked when I put it on this page. Alright, let's cut these. Oh. So are y'all going to do anything for Christmas? Is Christmas a bust for you all? Christmas is kind of a bust for us. We decided we're just going to try to wait things out for as long as we can. I mean, we're still getting out and doing things, but, you know, like shopping for uh, groceries. <laughs> but we're not, like, shopping for clothes or anything like that. You could use a series. I probably do things like in sections. Y'all on lockdown. We have never been on lockdown and we probably should should have been because I'm in Florida with uh I'm not gonna talk politics. But I'm in Florida. Let's just put it that way. So we never been on lockdown. Which I guess for some people is a good thing. There's a good and bad to everything. So I had these packed up. See, this is why I used the seller for. But I think I'm not selling these anymore. I'm taking take them out anyway. I don't think I am. And I'm just going to cut the sticky part off. It's going to drive me crazy. But I will use this bag. For my organization. You sit over there. I had really seriously considered leaving the, like the top of the, the um, cell on here and then fold up. It just didn't make sense to me. And then I was gonna put tape on it and close it up, and I was like, that's not. That's not totally defeating the purpose of accessibility. So, I didn't do it. Alright. Some more. I hardly ever use these paper dolls. I like them, but I just don't use them that much. I just don't use them. Oh, look. You got a big head. Y'all. I don't talk about it that much, but. One of the paper dolls that's in the Tim Holtz thing is actually one of my family pictures. I guess as people purchased them off of uh, Etsy. And the way I had it set up, you can use them. But you can't, you know, resell the file or whatever. So the way that they use it was okay. So you all have a, if you have paper dolls that have black people in them, one of them might just be one of my uncles. And I didn't even realize it until I was watching this lady do some mixed media. And I was like, that picture looks familiar. I said, that's one of my pictures. And I looked it up, and sure enough, it was my uncle. I was like, God, no. All right, this one is. All right, I had cut some, some die cuts out of paper bags. And I decided to keep those and use those, like, as masking pieces when I do, like, my, um, what you call it? My mixed media. Ooh, a ring light. Oh, 
Let's see. All right, so I need some more bags now. So I'm going to do a few more bags before I shove off and watch some more. Uh, oh, I've been watching the, the Great British Baking Show, too. That's one of my favorites. I think I'm almost done. I haven't started watching the holiday ones yet. Y'all, that was my telephone. I haven't started watching the holiday ones yet, so I still have to watch those. All right. Y'all, I'm kind of glad I used the typewriter, though, because I kind of like the, I like the look. And even though you can do, like, a typewriter font on your computer, it's just, it's not the same. You know? It's not the same. All right, let's see. Paper dolls again, Tim Holtz. So you can see the difference. This one is, it's not the typewriter font, but I don't know if y'all can see that or not. This is the typewriter one I did on the typewriter. Let me bring it closer. So that's the typewriter font. And then this one is the one I printed on the computer. It's uh, focusing on a lot of stuff. So that's the computer one. That's the typewriter font. So the typewriter font actually adds uh, some character to the label. So I like that. So I'm glad that I'm using it. All right. So I need some more. Let's see if I have some more bags up here I can use. This one. Gotta keep this card. I also, when I was doing my um, organization, I have like things that I sell separate from the things that I use. Sometimes I'd be using too much stuff. Let's see what I have here. Let's go through this. These are chip chipboard. Flowers, butterflies. I've seen people that don't like butterflies, y'all. I get it though. I get it. I need to use these. I like these. Do y'all go through your stuff and you be like, I like these. I want to stop and play with them. <laughs> I actually haven't done any junk journaling either, like in two weeks. I'm chomping at the bit, but. I have to make myself uh not do anything so I could get stuff done basically. That didn't sound right, huh? Not do anything so I can get stuff done. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> not do junk journaling so I can get stuff done. Oh, you've been watching the Christmas movies? Did you watch Jingle Jangle on Netflix? That was good. I'm going to watch that tonight again. I watched it once. It made me so happy. I smiled. I smiled when I was watching it. it made me happy. Butterflies. Y'all have all this ephemera. There's no way. I'm going to have to do like some ephemera packs because... There's like no way I can use all this stuff. I have accumulated. I'm one of those accumulators now. You haven't seen it? You should watch it. It's good. I watched um, yesterday the Christmas Chronicles. I finished watching Christmas Chronicles 1 because I didn't watch the whole thing when it came out last year. <laughs> so I restarted it over again. Look at those cute boys. We need one for birds. Will this fit? See, this one's kind of big. It'll just fit. So, see, we need one for birds. Boys. And then this. These are like little cards. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to name. the lab Put the labels on for some of this stuff. So it makes sense. That's the big thing. You got to make sense. Or else, uh, I'm not going to know. These are Tim Holtz. A bunch of these. So take these out. Oh yeah. Make sure. 
oh, it's time for to do the um what you call it the uh <sighs> why can I not find my words today? Christmas cards. And I just really, really did Christmas cards last year after years of not doing the Christmas cards. So what's nice is I still have my Christmas card list from last year. And I can add to it. And it's very easy for me to find because I have it in my junk journal from last year. So that's nice. <laughs> yeah, everybody should. Y'all, look at that. That's not supposed to be like that. Um, everybody should ask for stuff that they want for their studio, their crafting studio. Then you have some stuff to work with, right? Let's see. All right, I probably need a few bags for this. So the trick to this little job here is you have to sort through what you want to make um, what you want to make bags for first, so you can know what what the labels are going to be. I wish this had more birds in it. That would be cool. Has lots of butterflies and other crappy crap crap, which is not crap. And what's nice about having this stuff right next to me too is when I'm junk journaling, I could just grab and pull stuff over and I'll be able to use my ephemera more. Cause I don't, I don't use a whole lot of ephemera in my junk journals, but I would like to. But it's only because it's probably not accessible to me at that time when I'm doing it. <coughs> My brother was laughing at me when I was uh, watching It's a Wonderful Life. Because, you know, sometimes I recite some of the words before they say it, say the words. My lip is bleeding. <laughs> All right. So now. All right. So. All right. Oh, we need yellow papers is what I'm missing. What I'm missing is that I don't have any papers cut. Okay. So let me cut some papers real quick. Oh. Oh. Let me peel myself off my chair. Now hold on for a second. Of course, I have stuff on top of my um, my cutting board. Hold on. Give me a second. And I'll be right back. Talk some of yourself. All right. I didn't feel like moving Big Mama over here. She's a little bit far away from me now. Before I could kind of like just turn and then she would be right there, but uh, no. Okay. Y'all sleepy. one 
gonna have to do another bag for some of this chipboard. It's a lot. So this is the butterfly. I don't know, is chipboard all one word? I made it two words. But since it's just for me, I'm not really all that worried about it. Cut this, cut this extra off here. Yippee yay yay. All right, so this is the butterfly chipboard. Put the butterflies in. Got the look. Y'all, I'm really like, I like movies, but I like TV shows better than movies. But you know, for Christmas, it's all Christmas movie. Christmas movie-ish. Alright, so that looks good. And I just have how many bags here? I got four bags left. <coughs> to uh seal. <coughs> I don't realize how much I uh appreciate the silence of this machine because I have another machine that's the food saver machine and it, even when it seals it is loud this one is like dead silent you don't even know it's on you have to be really close to hear it so that's pretty cool next See, I'm trying not to do more than I need, but then I run out, and then I need more plastic, and then I need more inserts, but I'm just taking it one piece at a time, one piece at a time. What I need to do is get back outside and do some exercise. I haven't been exercising or anything. All I've been eating is a lot of junk food. So you know what that means. My hips are spreading. <laughs> so I need to get out and do some exercise. But I'm kind of enjoying this right now. I'm enjoying my space now since it's so much easier for me to find things. I appreciate that. But I haven't turned on the whippersnapper in a while. And the whippersnapper is missing me. All right, that's all the plastic I have up here right now. Put our little inserts in. <clears throat> I even kind of use this method for my uh, my clean stamps because I have some bigger cello bags as well, and I use those. But I have to kind of rethink <clears throat> the cardstock inside because. I was having to use a lot of cardstock with those stamps. <laughs> Your son keeps you on the go. I bet he does. How's the homeschooling going? I hope good. Hope he's getting used to it. I know Livy's son. Um, she does the homeschooling too. But she was doing it before. COVID, so 
she's probably used to it. I always said my kids will probably be would probably have been uh, dummies if I would have had to homeschool them. <laughs> but I guess you have to do what you have to do. Like you can't think like that. You just have to. You got to get it done. But since I don't have any school aged children at this time, I don't have to worry about that piece of the puzzle. Okay. Ugh. All right, so where's my tape? It's amazing how we can accumulate so much stuff doing stuff like this. It's a challenge. I think the kids are starting to get bored at home too. And I miss I miss my um my custody weekends with my grandkids. I always call them my custody weekends. <laughs> like this one. This is why I wait to cut it. I have some tape that's overhanging. All right. So now. I have tape stuck on my hand, y'all. Hold on. That's kind of irritating. All right, this is these. My dangled numbers. My little dangle leaves. All right, and then we have chipboard flowers, which I have like a million of them over here, so I'm gonna have to do another pouch for some more of those. Get in here, flowers. I have to think of something to do with these because I got a lot of them. Oh, yeah. I can imagine it would make things harder. See, I can break these down even more because some of them are black and white. Black and white and then multicolored. We're not going to go that deep today. I feel the urge to go that deep, but I'm not. All right, that's about all that's gonna fit in there because these are kind of chunky. Chunky monkey. Okay, now I need the typewriter back again. Let's do this so I can see how many I need. And that way, I can just type them up. So I suspect I'll probably have a few boxes of ephemera next to me by the time I eventually get finished, if that's a word for craft room organization. I don't think finish, <laughs> I don't think finish belongs there because just like we were saying, things shift and then you change and like, I'm doing this now, but it might not work for me. So I actually haven't put this uh, to use just yet. Let's see if it works. I think it will though. This one I like and I think it will. All right, I'm gonna need another one. Now I probably could have just put this like in the iris case and then just called it a day because there's a lot of these. But I want them to be in my little pouches, Dagnabbit. Oh, children's clothes are not considered essential? I guess they wouldn't be. They could just run around naked and barefoot. 
They don't, they don't need no shoes that fit. <laughs> Boss Baby has some rain boots she wears all the time. So, even though there's no rain right now, surprisingly. Hey, Junk Journal with me. Yeah, we're just organizing. I'm just I'm building some organization. That's what I've been working on for the last couple, few days. And chit-chatting. Well, we're glad you're here. Junk journal with me. I like your channel title. I'm going to have to check it out. <laughs> I'm always looking uh, for different ideas for junk journaling. And you know what? I don't know if it's just me, but I like watching like junk journal with me's that are kind of like my style of junk journal. You love the chit chat? I love chit chat with y'all too. But I like watching junk journal with me's that are kind of like the style that I do. And they are hard to find for me. They might be out there, but for some reason, I'll just be having a hard time finding. Okay, I need some more cello bags. So I'm debating, should she open some more bags? I probably should. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get another bag. Make sure I have some. I'm trying not to be in a rush. Alright, see, so this is the bags that I buy. And I ordered some more, so they should be here by next week. I should have more. And I can, but the people that I purchased these from, they won't even have any more. Was it these? Gotta be careful how many I use. Got to check and see. No, I think it's another size. They won't even have any of the bags that I use until like January, which is fine because I still have a bunch. <laughs> you said you'll organize things. See, this is what I figured out with that. Okay, Junk Journal with me says that she'll organize um, things and then she can't find them. I thought I had that problem, but the thing was, I wasn't really organizing things. I was just like putting things away. But now, in my mind, I'm make I'm putting things away where it makes sense for me. So <coughs> before I didn't do that, I would put things away, but they would be kind of they would be in the same spot, but they would not be like in a spot that made sense. If that makes sense. And see, I thought that too, Nettie. So Nettie says, um, that's why, well, you guys can see the chat now. I don't even have to repeat what's in there now because I have the chat up on the screen. But I was thinking that too, but I really don't want to see everything in my craft room. <laughs> Hence why I put the little screens up so I won't have to look at it. Um, because I feel like if they're in the same area when I'm doing the same type of things, then I'll be able to pinpoint what I want to use. Okay, so let's do some more of these. And then I'll be doing some more type pink. Typing, typing, typing. Ooh, my back is a little bit stiff though. Yeah, because I'll be sitting in my chair all day. This is like my spot. So when I'm watching videos, I'm sitting here and I watch them because I have like a really big screen in front of me. So it's like watching TV. <clears throat> I can actually work and watch videos at the same time. That's how big the screen is. So, and then when I get tired of sitting here, then I'll go get in bed and watch TV.
<laughs> can't remember. Uh, I suspect because I, I really moved things around these last two days, I'm going to have some issues <laughs> until I get used to where everything is. You'll be like, oh, already I can't find my rulers. I lost my rulers. But I don't think I put them back in their spot. They're probably in one of the boxes where I just took everything and I threw it in the box. So now uh, I can't find any of my rulers. I have no rulers to work with right now. Like none. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. <laughs> so far I haven't needed them. But I did notice that the rulers are not where I think they are. So I have a problem, Houston. Houston, we have a problem. No rulers to be seen. I hear you, Nettie. Nettie said that uh, she's only worried about the people in her house seeing her stuff. Hey. Did I turn that on? Probably not. I think I didn't seal it. But I don't know. I feel like... I mean, I see a lot of stuff in here already, so... <laughs> you all will see. You'll see as I go through things. It's like sometimes looking at all that stuff is overkill. It's like it uh, gives me... It has that chaotic feel to it. That's... That's one reason why I don't like going to Walmart because it is very chaotic to me. I don't like it. Oh, I would like to be that person in junk journal with me. I would love to be that person that has everything organized, but I'm not. Right now, this place is a disaster for sure. It's a hot mess. So, I don't know. Once the pandemic started, I just stopped doing stuff. <laughs> I stopped doing everything. I stopped organizing. I stopped junk journaling. And I'm slowly getting back to myself. So, I lost uh, quite a bit of time. And I think a lot of people felt that way too. So, I don't feel bad about it. So now everything is kind of a hot mess and I'm playing a little bit of catch up. And my goal is to just get back to a semblance of a life. Now look what I did. What should she do? I got two bags. If I pull them apart, what's going to happen? One of them is going to be open. Let's see. This one's still closed. No, it's not. They're open. Both of them are open. So it didn't make a difference. Oh, no. I don't want to waste any bags. So, I'm going to try to run these through again. Since I messed these two up, I'll still be able to use those. We'll come back to those. So that's a lesson learned. Be careful and don't stick two bags together. <laughs> Ooh, eight grandchildren. That's because in the craft room, we keep taking things out and then we don't put them back. I, I was thinking about that. I was like, how come this place is always so messy? I feel like a psychiatrist talking to myself because I'm saying to myself, uh, okay, we have to think about why this gets this way before we can do anything else. What's the why? That's what I've been telling myself for the last few days. I'm like, why do I have so many little bits and pieces of crap everywhere? Because I feel like if I figure out what the why is, I can conquer the problem. But I don't know what the why is. So I'm kind of still stuck. 
forgot not to cut these just yet. Uh oh, these birds gonna fit in here now? I don't know. Because they are fat. I feel like I'm making progress. I think, I think, I think. Today feels like a weird day. Does it feel weird to you all? Like it doesn't feel like the weekend, but it doesn't feel like the weekday either. It just feels like a weird day to me. All right, let's go through these pieces here. Y'all have these postcards since beginning of time, too. I should use these, like, send out some postcards. I have 1,000 things going on. <laughs> so, yep, you are right. I do have 1,000 things going on. And I use my um, studio space for more than just junk journaling. But the problem is, I want a junk journal more than anything else. So, you know what that means when I'm working. I want to stop working and do some crafting. And that doesn't really work out. Oh, your why is shelves. I thought about that too. I was thinking um, I don't have enough places to put my stuff. And when I first originally moved into into the uh, family room here, that was definitely the case because I don't have I don't have any closet space out here, and I don't have any wall space, so I can't really put things on the wall. So originally, a lot of things, once they hit the floor, that's where it lived on the floor. Because I don't have nowhere to put anything. And then I have like, I have like one shelf. <clears throat> and, you know, with the amount of crafting going on in here, one shelf wasn't going to do it. <clears throat> I had containers and the containers would be on the floor. It was just... That was a big why. No no place to put anything. Ooh, you have an embroidery business. I always thought about doing embroidery, but I tried it. It wasn't my thing. But man, people who embroider now you all are some patient people. I'm patient too, but not like that. Not embroidery patient. <laughs> and stuff is so beautiful. So my hats are is off to you. Oh, you got two big old closets, huh? So, junk journal with me. Do you have like a craft room tour on your channel? See, I want to go look at your channel now. <laughs> I want to go see what you got. YouTube don't make it easy for you to go to the channel. Let me see. I want to go look. Y'all know I look weird when I'm looking on the um on the computer because I have these bifocal glasses and my now my screen is up really high so I'm like all looking all crazy and stuff. Let's see paste. Let me see if I can find your channel. Cause I know all kinds of things are gonna come up. I'm going to have to do a filter to find your channel. Hey, where's my filters at? Oh, there you are. 
Then I have the camera in front of me, of course, and I can't see anything. Oh, that's interesting. There's actually there's actually two channels that say junk journal with me. Yours and another one. Do both of those belong to you? You don't have no videos up, junk journal with me? <laughs> I want to come look at your channel. I'm disappointed now. I'm so disappointed. I had these punches. I love these. I use these all the time in my junk journal and my um, art journaling. But I don't think I'm selling going to sell those these anymore. Oops. Yeah, it's. I found two channels. Let me see what the other one is. Let's see if I can go back to it. It just says junk journal with me, and they have two videos. Yeah, unhide your videos, girl. Yeah, the other junk journal with me, she don't have no junk journals on hers either, but maybe she plans to. You sure that's not you? She has like some weight loss tips and tricks and post-op. She had a gastric sleeve. Sometimes those are interesting to watch too. Do y'all watch like kind of crazy kind of stuff on YouTube sometimes? Things pop up. The only thing I don't like is like when... Something interesting will come up, but I don't want to watch it all the time. And then I just get gazillion, um, you know, suggested videos for that. And I'm like, I don't want to watch that anymore. I just watched it that one time. Oh, that's yours? Oh, see? Yeah, you got two of them. I wonder how you ended, how they let you do two. Inquesting. All right. So now... We just split these up here. Put our circles in here. See, it's always good to have a friend to look your stuff up and help you out. <laughs> they can be like, girl, you got two channels. I didn't even know it. Alright, I think I have one for the butterflies. I have so much ephemera, it's crazy. You lost over 50 pounds. Oh, you deleted them? What you deleted them for? You should have kept them up because it shows your, um, your progress. Yeah, we do have to stick together. I love, like, all my, like, this channel hasn't always been junk journal related. But I left all my videos up. Because actually some of them be better than the junk journal ones. <laughs> so, I left them up. It's quite helpful. Next, I think I have butterflies. Let's see, I know I have one for tickets. That's for tickets here. Here are her. And my vintage heads. I found some more of those. Plus, this will work good for me, like, when I'm um, putting together, like, some grab bags. I can just grab some of this ephemera. Vintage heads. Yep, you should put them back up. Oh, my butterflies. We got random butterflies. 
cage butterflies. Hey, no, Noel, Noel. I think it's Noel. I have to forgive me if I say the name wrong. I try. I don't do it on purpose. I like pronouncing people's names correctly. Yes, you can. And you can be an honorary Florida girl because I know it's cold up there. <laughs> I know it's cold up there, so you have to put your flip-flops on and a nice uh, floral shirt to be in Florida with us. I like it here in Florida. Florida is nice. I think the weather used to be better, but whatever. <laughs> yep, flip flops no matter what, and shorts. Flip flops and shorts. All right, so let's put this one back in here. Put pretty butterflies. Just some butterflies. Shit for it. We had some random butterflies. Y'all, this is filling up. I'm gonna take these off. I don't think I need those. Don't need those anymore. Uh, I did a lot with y'all because I didn't have this many. And the butterflies go there. And let's see, I don't think I have. This makes it easier to sort these small pieces too. For sure. So I always end up, after I get done with a session of junk journaling, I always end up with a whole bunch of little pieces all over the place. Drives me nuts, but I do it anyway. What? Those are the lazy people. <laughs> oh man. Still left that piece out. All right, so I need these going in here. Might have some soup for dinner. Oh, um, it's easy to get them off of Facebook. You have to download them to your computer, of course, and then upload them up to YouTube. So, let's see if I can remember off the top of my head how you download them. It's very easy. I think, let me just go. So I have to actually look before I can tell you. Do you know how to download them off of Facebook? Let me find one of my videos, man. I can tell you. I was like, I can't figure out how to download my videos off of Facebook. It's real easy. Okay. All right, so I got to type some more. And then these are probably the last ones that I do. Let me see. Let me find one of my videos real quick. Real quick like. And then I can tell you. Um, 
trying to think of the easiest way for me to find it. Let's see. Let's go to member. So I won't take too long. Alright, so here's my post. I haven't posted a video on Facebook in a while, so let's find one. Oh, here we go. All right, so. <clears throat> Let me see how. Y'all might hear me talking. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, busy. Okay, yeah. So the only thing you have to do is like click on your video so it'll like you know how it makes the video bigger and then over on the right hand side there'll be like three dots that um that's your options and when you open that up you'll see where it says download video that's it it's very very simple oh let me get the typewriter oh Video still going. Turn that off. All right. Let's See, still using that same scrap of paper, which I could not do if I was doing this on the computer. I would definitely say if you can get your hands on a typewriter, get you one because it kind of it's kind of cool just to play around with them. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh oh, I messed that up. I hit the wrong key. I like the sound of the typewriter too. I like listening to the sound of the typewriter. stay trying to stay in that putting things where it makes sense I think I know. 
going to put it under journal cards. Board. Because you know the chipboard makes a difference because the chipboard is a lot thicker than, um, uh oh, it went out of focus. So they got the automatic focus on there. So I don't know how many times it's done that. Let's do this. I also was going to make this very easy on myself and just uh, write on the packaging. But then I was thinking if I want to change it, then it's going to be hard for me. I'll have to still have to cover up wherever I wrote. But if I do it this way, I can just redo this and just pull the tape up and take this off. So as I was thinking, that would be better. I was thinking a little bit ahead. Hey, Lizbeth, how you doing? Oh, hold on, y'all. Let me put this typewriter out of way. The typewriter is actually pretty heavy. All right, so now I need to cut these. What's this? I thought I did this one page hearts oh well got it again how are you doing miss Rodriguez? we're just chit-chatting and organizing hopefully i haven't inspired you all <laughs> to organize while we're sitting here chit-chatting That's the goal. That's my ulterior motive is to inspire. Are y'all feeling inspired? If you're feeling inspired, you can just hit the thumbs up for inspiration. Okay, that's trash. This is like fussy cutting. Sometimes fussy cutting is good. It promotes concentration. Y'all don't even know how long I've been on for. Ooh, we've been on for two hours. What time is it? Time went by really fast today, too. I told y'all, this is like a strange day to me. It's one of those weird, just weird feeling type of days. Not in a bad way, though. It still kind of feels like the holiday, but then it doesn't. It doesn't really feel like a Friday. It doesn't really feel like a weekend. It's just an in-between day. <clears throat> I'm probably going to do a mega stream this weekend. I don't know if I'm just going to do it on Patreon or not. Because I got to get my Christmas junk journaling ready. Because, you know, Christmas only happens once a year. So I need to do some Christmas junk journaling because I had a ball last year. I did good. I actually junk journal every day. I don't know if I'm going to do that this year, though. It wasn't hard for me to do, but I had a lot more activities. But, you know, now we don't have a lot of activities to do. So, However, sometimes I feel like I do more activities so I can have stuff to write about. 
So it helps me to be active. Do y'all feel that way? All right. So, flowers. To make sure I stay on the Kimmy Cam. More flowers. Got that one upside down. This one is my journal cards, chipboard. packaging off we have bird chipboard bird chipboard now wouldn't it be cool if we could do like a Netflix party on here that would be cool be cool to do a Netflix party do some Christmas movie party because that's possible I just don't know how to do it me and Bobby were trying to figure that out but we didn't really try too hard anybody else did any like Netflix or Hulu Hulu you can do them now too and Disney I think you can do like the parties That might be kind of fun. Because I don't know if they have like a chat feature on there or what. I'm going to have to try that out. Now I want to try it out. Because you can't really do it on here because of the copyright. Alright. I know I spelled this wrong, but... Uh oh, my tape's running out, but I got more tape. Y'all, sorry if I'm mumbling. Sorry if I'm mumbling. Yep, I got a lot done. See, y'all motivated me to do a lot. I probably would have went on to something else by now. Okay, the page hearts. Just kind of cool. Ooh. Oh no. It got me. I might have to do this one over. Eh, it'll be alright. And the hexagon. And then my tape is all out. trash. I have a bad habit of keeping trash on my desk too. Don't ask me why. I don't know. She just does. Yeah, I'm concentrating. That's why I'm not talking that much. <laughs> Although, as you have seen, I've done this like 50 million times now. <clears throat> it doesn't really take a lot of concentration. I might have to move to my next box. All right. Oops. Okay. What's nice about these boxes, too, is they're really sturdy. 
Uh, I don't really decorate for Christmas. <laughs> I used to be a big Christmas decorator. Now I'm, I'm very lazy and so I don't decorate. I enjoy other people's Christmas decorations. And since I don't have any kids here, I don't really worry about it. Right on, Junk Journal, with me. I see your back. Page hearts. So, I'm not decorating. I actually, that's a lot of look. Oh, y'all can't see. This uh, has lights on it. Can y'all see the lights a little bit? That's my that's my Christmas decoration. <laughs> That'd be it. Flowers, jingles. Circle. Putting stuff in alphabetical order requires concentration. <laughs> You're trying to get your computer going so you can download your videos. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty easy. I was like. When I was first trying to figure out how to download it, I was like, how come I can't figure this out? I felt like it was complicated. And then when I finally found, I don't know if I went on YouTube or just Googled it. And I figured out, I was like, oh, that was really easy. This is going to have some wooden stamps in it. See how things shift? <laughs> oh, you had your tree up. I think a lot of people are decorating uh, very early now. You're making decorations, junk girl. So that's what I'm talking about. Get it, girl. Do some collage ones, too. <laughs> I am using cello bags. These are, um, they are, they're actually baking bags, but I use these to package stuff up and these are four by six bags. I can give you the link to them if you want to look at the details on it. Let's see, because I just ordered some more and these are the four by six. The four by six bags. Four by six. Now I'm concentrating again. Copy. All right, here they are. So these are the ones, these are the actual ones that I'm using. So you can check those out. And like I said, they're like really inexpensive. So are these the right ones? Oh, wait a minute. Don't give me the wrong. Oh, yeah, it's the right ones. They have like different sizes on here, but the four by six ones are the ones that I use. Where are the four by six? They're not on here. You dirty dogs. Where y'all at? I just ordered some. Wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. Four by six. 
Oh, I think I know why. These are the ones. That's going to be a while. Is October now? Hmm, that's weird. You got me looking now. <laughs> now I'm wondering order placed four by six two. Let me see. better save some for packing because they might be out I might have to wait <clears throat> but this is the company that I got them from which ones are these are six by nines oh yeah I better save some of these <laughs> Yeah, that'll give you an idea of what to look for. But I think a lot of companies are selling them like in the 100 packs, but it's still a good deal though. Y'all look at that. Da -da -da -da. Sometimes I just like the way things look and I'll just sit here. Just like with the junk journals, I'll just sit here and I'll flip through the junk journal. I'll just flip through these because I like the way that they look. Do y'all just flip through your supplies sometimes? So this definitely wasn't filled up so you can see that part. But once I put this in here, you won't be able to see at all. Let's see, look, and I put this in. See how you can see all that? You put it in, dun, da, da, da. You can't see nothing now. You can't even see beyond this piece right here. Dun, da, da, da. And another reason, it wasn't so much that I didn't like looking at the stuff that was in here, but it was, it was like so many different things and stuff was sticking out and, oops, sorry, stuff was sticking out and everything. It just made, it just looked more uniform to put that up there because y'all know I'm not that type of person. <laughs> you were flipping through your scrapbook papers. I've got to flip through, uh, uh. I got to do my Christmas card, so I got my, this is my last year Christmas journal, and I need my Christmas list out of here, so I got to find it. Y'all love this journal. Sometimes I just flip through this journal. Oh, it's right here. See, my Christmas card list. Dun, 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 dun. I can't show y'all my list, though, but I just have it on, I just have it on this paper and had it folded up. And I knew I was going to use it for this year because, like, last year was, like, the first year in a really long time that I sent Christmas cards. So, I had to get addresses from people and everything. So, I was like, I'm holding on to this list for dear life. So, if I die, y'all make sure they use my Christmas list. <laughs> and they, uh, they contact these people because the people that get Christmas cards, those are my people, my family and stuff. I don't think I have to knock anybody off this list. Let me see. Uh, I do have to knock one person off this list. He passed away. He passed away. So that's one down. Oh, there's somebody's address I don't have. I had her at all. Oh, she got a new address. But I think everybody else is in the same place. Oh, my daughter. Hers has changed too. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm just going to leave this in here, but I am going to have to do my Christmas cards. And the good thing about junk journaling is I have a gazillion Christmas cards. <laughs> so I don't have to go out and buy anything. I don't know what that was in there for. Y'all, I love this journal. This is like, this was one of my favorite journals. 
I know y'all seen it before because I showed it. That's one of my favorite ones. So I'm ready to start my Christmas journal even though it's not December yet because I already started watching Christmas movies and I want to put those in my book. But I don't know how much stuff I'm going to have to do. How many activities? I don't know. <sighs> 2020. Y'all, we're part of history, you know that? Because if you think about, like, um, the people that went through influenza back in the 1919, they were part of history. I wondered if they think of it that way, that they would be part of history. Even though this is not, like, you don't want to be part of this history, but... <laughs> You don't really have a choice. You're part of history. I wonder what people will say. Make a chunky monkey. I won't be able to make a chunky monkey because we're not going to have much activities. I could fill it up with a lot of ephemera and stuff. But I don't know. That's not real. That's not generally how I um how I junk journal though. My junk journal I usually start with clean pages and I journal about stuff. I don't know. I don't, all of my journals are, are chunky. This That's what you're looking at up here. All of these are my finished junk journals. <laughs> see, I'll turn you a little bit so you can see. All these up here are my finished junk journals. I think I have... No, that's not even... That's not all of them. I have a few more. And they're all chunky monkeys. They're so chunky. I don't even need anything to keep them up there. Keep them up here. My first one was really a chunky. I could fill it with art. That's a thought. Let's see. Let me pull you back over here. So look at this one. This one's a chunky monkey. I still have some room in here too. Just a little bit, not a lot. And I do mean just a little. <laughs> I don't really have. I have been known to go back in some of my junk journals. And do some more junk journaling. But. Uh, I don't think I have any more space in this one to do that. This one's pretty much a wrap. Y'all look at me at the beach. I was cute. In my shadow. I like taking shadow pictures. This card came from Penny. Thanks, Penny. I did some journaling on there. My mom, my grandkids. I like flipping through my junk journals. All right, I'm just killing time now because I don't want to do any more organization. I'm tired of organizing. I'm going to fix me some Din Din. And watch some. I think I'm going to watch some more of the British Baking Show. I'm totally addicted to that. I don't watch like all the episodes almost. I haven't got to the holiday one yet. So I'm chomping at the bit. But I want to finish the last episode before I go to that one. I love cooking shows. They make me happy. There's little bits of room in here. Now this one's pretty full. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything else in this one. I felt like it took me a long time to get through this uh, junk journal. <gasps> Your husband is an executive chef? That means you don't have to cook anything. Just, unless he, unless he's like, I don't feel like cooking now. <laughs> so you have to cook everything. You have your own personal cooking show. That's pretty cool. I bet you get to eat a lot of interesting stuff. I like trying a lot of things. So I would really enjoy that. I'd be like, can we go to the restaurant to eat tonight, dear? <laughs> I want to go to the restaurant to eat tonight. That would be a lot of fun. A lot. Put my stuff back up because I like the way it looks. <laughs> he loves to cook. That's cool. 
Y'all both do a lot of cooking. I have to cook for myself. But I like cooking though. But I would love to like learn to cook from somebody like that. That's a, a for real chef. That would be cool. Because I know I would be exposed to a lot of things that I wouldn't normally be exposed to. So that would be awesome. <sighs> okay, you all. So today is Friday. I will probably be back on live tomorrow, but I don't know what time. So, if you are new to the channel, make sure before you leave, everybody hit the thumbs up. And the second piece is make sure you hit the notifications and put all notifications so you'll know when I come on because I don't know what time, but I think I'm going to come on tomorrow. As well because y'all I need to get me some junk journal time in because I haven't had no junk journal time so I'm gonna make some time tomorrow because that's what you have to do if you say you don't have time to do things it's not that you don't have time it's that you haven't made time so I'm gonna make time to do something that I love tomorrow which is junk journaling and I'm I don't think I'm gonna I'll probably do some organization off candy cam but um, other than that I'm going to go ahead and shove off. Thank you all for coming on the chat with me. Even if you're listening, it's fine. Um, I had a, I always have a good time when I come on. so And I'm enjoying my space right now, too. So y'all have a good night. And hopefully, I will see you all tomorrow. So toodaloo. <laughs> all right, you all. Now I have to get back, get to the screen uh, to go off because y'all got a lot of stuff up on my screen. <laughs> All right. Thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.